All right, I'm going to share with you guys um, a few things that I bought recently. Um, I've been taking a very uh, a lot of interest in uh, mixing music and making beats. Just a fun hobby of mine. I'm not uh, a pro, and I wouldn't even consider myself an amateur yet. I'm just I like to play with the software. It's entertaining, so it's kind of a hobby I'm picking up on. So I'm kind of learning things as I go. Um, all right, so here we have an M Audio Oxygen 25. 25 key MIDI controller. I got it from Amazon for 100 bucks. Um, it was pretty much plug and play. Um, it does come with drivers and uh, an audio software suite, but it works. Um, I have it working with FL Studio on Windows 7. All right, so that's pretty sweet. Um, we have just an old machine that I'm running the software on it's an old Dell um, you pretty much uh, have the same similar setup with any old kind of system you just have to have the right uh, the right things like uh, for instance a uh, sound card this uh, particular computer doesn't have a very good sound card so I went ahead and got an external sound card which was recommended also from amazon.com this is the cakewalk uh, USB audio interface UA1G and you can use this for enhancing the audio it's like an external hard drive, external uh, sound card and you can use it also for recording it's got ports there on the side and today I went ahead and got some speakers uh, because I was reading when you're monitoring uh, your mixes you can't always have headphones on of course it's a lot of strain on the ear and whatnot um, I went and picked these up actually at Walmart. These are Antic Lansing, uh, just 2.1 uh, speakers. And um, I don't have the specs on them at my disposal right now, but when I bought them, uh, I was reading a review and they're pretty good for their price. I, I only paid $15 for them. I didn't want to invest in very expensive speakers uh, for a hobby until I actually you know, become a little bit better. All right, there's that, and then also for those times when I do want to use headphones, I pick these up. These are the Sony MDR V150s. Now I haven't tried these yet, but again, I read a good review. They have a very good range of uh, high lows and highs, lows and mids. So we're gonna test those out. Very soft. Um, cushion there and it did come with the 3.5 millimeter jack if I can get it in focus there and an adapter for a larger jack for like uh, if you wanted to plug it into let's say an amp or something like that anyhow the software I'm, I've been using is FL Studio, but I decided to give a few uh, a few open source things a try. I have um sorry I'm recording with a with a camera on my desktop, but I have a Linux Multimedia Studio, which I haven't really figured out yet. This is just a LMMS. Um, I've seen some pretty good work done with that software, so I'd like to go ahead and try that. Um, and then uh, I, I do have a few mixes. I'm not going to be sharing them or uploading them at any time soon because they're, they're kind of, you know, like I said, I, I'm, I'm kind of a newbie and it's a little bit embarrassing. But luckily enough for me, I got a good old Zune. I believe this is the 30 gig. For, um, for a Valentine's Day present. So I can just put my work on here and just uh, listen to it. See, old fashioned Zune, as you can see. Alrighty. So, that, that's about it. That's, that's everything I have to show you. Hopefully, um, by the end of next month, I can have something that I think is good enough to share with you guys. But wish me luck. Thanks for watching.